I'm making this video for myself. I don't expect anybody to ever watch it because I'm never going to publicly share it. But if someone does come across it, it's just a video diary. I'm just talking about my feelings because I can't write them down as fast as they come to me. Today, when I was driving, there were some boys in this car that I recognized. One's name is Spencer Young. The other two I didn't see. And the boy Spencer gave me a face. And I knew why. Uh, it's probably because they just love to hate me. And it's weird, because they don't really have any reason to. I mean, f sure, in like my, my you know junior year, his freshman year, I just, you know, grabbed his ass, because my friends told me to, and I guess he still holds that against me. Even though it was stupid of me to do, I admit, but, you know, it did get some laughs. So, of course, he's probably calling me gay and, you know, being mean like that. And it's just weird, because a lot of people in those years of the class of 08 and the class of 07, they all just love to hate me. They just love to look at me and see a fag. They don't want to believe that I could ever like girls. They don't want to believe that I've changed. They still want to believe that I'm the, you know, the little fruitcake that ran around wearing Emily's <laughs> clothes and other girls' clothes that I stole from my friends as a joke. I never did it because I liked wearing girls' clothes. I just did it because I was high and I had nothing else to wear. <laughs> But of course, people don't like to see that. They just like to see a skinny kid like me walking around in girls' jeans and, you know, a big furry jacket. And they think, oh, he's a fag. Well, it's not true. Sure, I came out my sophomore year as bisexual, but that was only because it was cool and the emo boys were doing it, you know, and I used to think of myself as an emo kid, even though I never really dressed like it. I had the heart of an emo which is true, because I would listen to My Chemical Romance, you know, AFI, even though I don't consider any of those bands emo. That's just what everyone called them. I listened to The Used and Thursday, and then when Paramore came out my junior year, I listened to Paramore. But I remember it. It, it was all about Fall Out Boy, Taking Back Sunday, that Hello Goodbye song, In Your Arms. It was all about, you know, shit like that. Taste of Ink by The Used, you know, I'm Not Okay by My Chemical Romance, Miss Murder by AFI, all of that was emo, and, you know, I totally was into that. But then, of course, I became a prep my, uh, about halfway through my sophomore year, and then I met Emily, you know, and Emily changed my life, and she's the only girl that I ever could truly say that connected with me on a higher level than just physical and emotional. It, it was like, she like understood the essence of me. <laughs> and you know, most girls and guys can't do that. And uh, my cat needs to be fed, so he's probably gonna annoy me for a while and meow, but just ignore it. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Shut up, Tigger. Here's my cat being pissy. <laughs> Alright, well anyway. Yeah, so anyway, I'm getting off track. But seriously, people don't want to see the, the girls in my life. They just want to see the boys. They just want to remember when I kissed that black fag Shaquille. <laughs> Sorry for the, you know, harsh word, but he really is. He's the definition of a flamer. And I only flamed because it was fun. My true nature is chilled out, calm. I'm not really crazy and hyper unless I'm on coke, but that was just for a year. And, uh, yeah. Now, you know, all these, all these little junior kids and I guess some, some seniors now, because I'm a freshman in college now, I mean, you know, they just like to see that. They don't want to see all the girls. They don't want to see, you know, like, people like, pe well, I can't really say their names, but just girls in general. They don't want to see all the girls that I've kissed or made out with or, you know, dated or had sex with. They just want to see the guys that I randomly would kiss for fun. 
And the truth is, I never fucked Shaquille, or he never fucked me. There was never any sex with him. I don't give a fuck what he has to say, because it's a lie. He can say all he wants. When I was friends with that one Ryan kid, Ryan Hess, we never had sex. We just hung out. Two, you know, gay kids hanging out. And I'm just saying gay because I really believed I was for a while. And, you know, yeah, it was just fun. Plus, it was an alter ego, you know, I mean, after I got saved, because now I'm a, a Christian, even though I don't really believe everything, I, I do believe that God is real and that, you know, that I when I die, I'm going to go to heaven because I've repented of my old life somewhat. But, you know, it's, it's just crazy to think that people don't want to see the old me. Or they they only want to see the old me. They don't want to see the new me. <sighs> so fuck those kids. These new friends that I'm making, they understand me. They realize that I'm sexual, that I've done drugs, that I've, you know, been crazy they understand the whole punk side of me they don't they don't look at me and think oh is he gay because he's wearing tight pants and you know has like a colorful shirt on and he listens to bands like Franz Ferdinand or Lady Gaga yeah sure I like Lady Gaga I don't care if people say oh that's a gay she's bisexual whatever I think she's hot she's cool you know I mean, sure, my, my musical tastes have changed. I don't, I don't listen to all that old rock stuff I used to listen to. Now I listen to pretty much indie and screamo. <laughs> and, I, and I also listen to pop. I mean, band... Okay, like, AFI is definitely pop. They're like pop. Sure, they still do some punk, but I consider them a pop band. And then, you know, Franz Ferdinand is considered pop rock. Uh, Fall Out Boy is pop rock now, you know? Um, the used is dirty pop. <laughs> uh, Blondie is definitely pop. Morrissey is al alternative pop. You know, David Bowie's definitely pop. Sure, he might have been rock for a while, but now he's mainstream, even though he hasn't done anything. Uh, let's see. So anyway, yeah, so anyway, I like those, you know, people. And, uh, I don't give a shit what anyone thinks. The only thing that I do worry about is that I'll never be able to make those kids see me in a different light. Like, no matter how hard I try, they will always see me as that fag. They will never see me as the, you know, cool rocker kid or the guy that, you know, can make movies and do shit like that. They don't want to see me as the, you know, as, as like the fun partier or, you know, like the pot smoking, you know pothead, they don't want to see any of that. They just want to see a fag. And it's retarded. It's dumb, because it's in the past. I'm over it, so you should be over it. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, well, also, I guess I could talk about my day. How much time is it? Wow, eight minutes. Uh, my day has been pretty crappy. Let's see. I had to get up at 7 so I could get to school at 8 so I could, er, well, I didn't get into school till 9. Maybe not even 9. And my teacher, Randy, I think his name is, he's shut up! God damn it! Uh, and I had to take, you know, pictures and, um, they turned out pretty good. I'll have to show myself, <laughs> since no one's ever going to be seeing this. Uh, on the way over, I listened to Morrissey, and the song Friday Morning really hit me hard. I like the, you know, lyric, I'm dressed in black and I won't be coming back. And, um, and then the line when he says, and they kick me down the stairs and I see the faces all lined up of teachers and politicians and parents who all share a point of view, you are a loser. And that's what people think of me. They think of me as a loser. Uh, the majority of people, you know. Um, I don't even know if that's true or not, but that's just how I feel in my paranoid state of mind. 
you know, once I got into school, everything's fine. I'm friends with this guy, Danny Morton. He's a skater. He's pretty cool. He showed me some of his skating moves on a, on a video that he made, and it seems pretty cool. And, you know, everyone in there is, like, so chill, and they they respect me. They, they just see me as this, you know, hip little 18-year-old punk kid, and it's pretty cool, because... I'm glad that they don't look at me and go, oh, he must be a little bit off. No, it's awesome. I mean, sure, they might wonder why I'm always doing this and, you know, twitching. But, you know, that's just whatever. And, uh, let's see. Then once that class ended, I ate my lunch, whoop de doo Then I went onto Facebook and I looked at all my old friends and looked at their photos. Friends like Corey and Logan and Aisha all the kids I used to hang out with when I was a senior, and maybe junior, they're so much younger than me. They're like 16, maybe even 15. I don't even, I don't even care now. And, uh, it's weird, because I used to really, really like them, and now they're like, they're out of my life. I don't connect with them. I feel like they only keep me as a friend because of the past we had, but everything I used to be is so much different than what I am now. And I just don't relate to them anymore. <sighs> they still want to talk to me, so I deleted a lot of them off Facebook and MySpace and, you know, took away their numbers in my phone so when they text me, I... Because I don't text people back if I don't know who they are. If I don't have their name. And I miss them, but... I, I just can't relate to them anymore. So they're... I have to give them up. Who knows, maybe in the future one of them will, you know, run into me and we'll hit it off again. But for right now... I just can't relate to them. Friends like Taylor, John Lacey, Eldon, Winkleman. Uh, actually, Eldon was... He was a sophomore when I was a senior. I'm trying to think of my older friends. Like, okay, like my classmates. Like Kimmy Rogers, Caitlin Becker. You know, all the people that I grew up with pretty much all my life. They don't know me right now. I'm... If they saw me, they'd probably be like, what the fuck? You look so different, or you act different. Well, that's just how I've changed. I mean, I had a really big epiphany with, with God. And I know this is going to sound corny to, to, you know, to someone if they're seeing this and they remember the, you know, atheist, you know, hate God because he fucked me up, he made me gay, all that stuff. Well, that's not me anymore. I don't believe that. You know, they're going to be surprised, but I was in church, and I was listening to this song called The Rapture Song, and it made me it, it made me cry, just like how AFI's, you know, The Leaving Song used to make me cry. I had to run to the bathroom, and I broke down, and I said, God, I'm sorry for everything that I've ever done to you. I know I really screwed my life up. I was confused. I did drugs. I... I really messed myself up, and you were always there, and I didn't hear anything back, but a huge peace came over me, and it made me feel normal. It made me feel not so alone, and it was just really painful. <sighs> so now... Now I'm, I'm friends with pretty much good people, like my new friend Margie, she's a Christian, so I, I know that she's, she can understand me on that level. My friend Lisa, even though she's a freshman in high school, she goes to my church and she's great to talk to. Even though we're like five or four years apart, so what? It doesn't matter to me. But I don't have any male friends. I mean, I do, but n no one that I can, like, hang out with. You know? 
I thought I had so many friends. Thought I was cool. Now I just think I'm... I'm losing my edge. I don't even know. Well, that's it for today.